so this is Observer. Probably going to have to get this into um, windowed mode, so... Oh, it starts in windowed mode. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. This is just a launcher. Acapella box. It might be Will Old Voice. Uh, I'll take a look at that. Okay, no, I don't have VR. This is not going to be a VR game. Oh, I think I tried. I think I tried Acapella Box and it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. I tried to find the voice a little bit, but... Um, Will, old man. Let's see. This is a game called Observer. No. No, that's 100% not it. Okay, it's a little loud. Hang on, let me change some options. Already sounds a bit Blade Runner-y. Well, not really, but... Get this thing into windowed mode. Vapith, please cut. All right, this is where we begin. I mean, maybe it's scarier if you just use your imagination. Photosensitive epilepsy. If you have a history of epilepsy seizures, consult a doctor before use. This is from Bloober Team, people that made... Oh fuck, what's the name of it again? The Painting Game. Layers of Fear. The year the is 2084. Year is 2084. If they told me what the world would become, I would not have believed them. First, there was the Nanofade, the disease of transition. A digital plague that swept across the land, killing thousands upon thousands of augmented souls. A heavy cost for meddling with our minds and bodies. Then came the war, the big one. A great decimation. The West killed the East. The East killed the West. There were no winners. Except for Cairo. The corporation seized power and forged the Fifth Polish Republic, a crooked empire of blood and ash. There was no one left to oppose them. But still, they endured, and so it goes. The rich get richer as the poor rot away in their hovels, desperately looking for ways to escape reality. I am what they fear, a corporate tool of oppression. A despised leech that creeps into your dreams and feeds of your fears. If you don't remember, if you won't remember, that's when they call me. To access you, to gather evidence, to dredge up whatever's hiding in the darkest corners of your mind. My name is Daniel Lozelski. I'm an observer. text in the opening crawl 
is very Blade Runner down to the highlighted red and uh, yeah and that's that's Rutger Hauer who once again played Roy Batty in Blade Runner didn't I just fucking put this thing in, into windowed mode alright mate what the fuck are you doing mate come on get in windowed mode mate little buggy that now we're good now the resolution is good observer really excited to try this out this is um, a spoop warning by the way How old is Rucker Hauer now? Dude sounds old. Lozarski, you there? Hmm. Come in, Lozarski. They even got his likeness. Lozarski, you there? Uh, nah. No, I'm not here. Sorry. All right, fine. Yeah, I'm here. You okay there? I've been hailing you for the past five minutes. I'm fine. I must have dozed off. No rest for the wicked. How's the dream meter treating you? Well, I'm not a vegetable yet. He's 73. Jesus. I heard. I'm serious, Dan. Your signal's all over the place. Have you taken your meds? I will, in a moment. Do it now. I need you in good shape. Yep, that's Rucker Hauer, all right. Um... Yes. <sighs> oh, nice cyber drugs. There you go. Looking better already. Yeah. Wouldn't want me to mess up. Can you see the headlines? Another leech goes berserk. Don't be like that. It's just... Yeah, yeah. What's this about? Just checking in, or you need me downtown? Nah, just a checkup. No one left for you to interrogate. Sounds pretty bad. Yep, it's not pretty. The explosion leveled half a block. The place is still on fire. Corporate goons all over the place. <laughs> That's it's so Blade Runner, too. Covering How many times am I going to say that during the stream? Is that Midgar? Is that fucking Shinra HQ? Careful what you say. This is a monitor channel. Who is this? How'd you get this frequency? Don't you recognize me? Adam? Yes. Well, what's left of me? Dad. What happened? Where, where have you been all this time? Away from you? It's funny. I thought it would be easier. To hear your voice after all these years. But it really isn't. Come on, Adam, don't start. I really thought I could pull it off, you know? Oh, so close to making a difference, to setting us all free. And now it's <sighs> can't be for nothing. Doesn't matter. Tell me where you are. I'll come and get you. Shit, Dad. For once in your life, just listen to me. Whatever happens, I need you to remember you're not in control, Adam. Can you hear me? You still there? Adam! God damn it. Dad? Dad! Matriarch, display caller ID. Displaying now. Kravinsky. That's new. 
Matriarch, locate source of last call. Triangle Not a kid anymore, orbits. Dad. Come you're, on. You're a robot, Location Dad. Established. Tenement building. Class C district. Jesus. Adam, the stacks. You just had to hit bottom, huh? Please let me drive. Allow, allow me to drive. Let's just start crashing into walls and shit. Let's observe. Uh, everything has got to be cool. I just don't know if I'm a robot, man. Let's observe. Uh, Actually, this is this is way more Nine Inch Nails. This is way more Trent Reznor than it is Gorillas. So, who is this famous voice actor? Rucker Hauer. It was in uh, Blade Runner. He was in a fuckload of movies, um, shitty ones at that. But he was also in Hobo with a Shotgun. But yeah, it, it's old Hauer. Which is kind of, uh... He doesn't enunciate the same way he used to. It's okay. I'm not upset about it. It's just, you know, it sucks that people get old. That's a statement and a half. Oh, nice. This game looks awesome already. Someone said that the game's a little low. Okay. Oh, this looks this looks fucking awesome. Hang on, let me let me turn this up a bit. Okay. It's up about 10%. So is this like an augmented reality or is this just what this place looks like? Oh, there's a motion blur on. Hang on. Can you deal with the motion blur? Is it is it shitty? Here, let me let me leave it on a bit. Let me know if it's fucking with your uh, bitrate. Music is not too low. Okay, so now the music- now everything is a little too loud. So we'll go back down just a little bit. It's okay. Alright, so then I'm gonna turn motion blur off. That one sound effect- that menu sound effect is a little loud, so don't judge the volume based on that alone. Alright, so this is without motion blur. And yeah, it's a little easier to see what's going on here. Um, I'm also going to lower the sensitivity of the mouse a bit, so it's not so jittery for both my benefit, but mainly for yours. Yeah, there we go. Nice head. Put a lot of detail into this world. I guess this is where a trash can is supposed to be. Need to get out. Easy there, Tin Man. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh, Tenant? Huh? Uh, what? No. Family. Family? <laughs> no. Tenant? Um, sort of. Name? Last name, Glazowski. Mm. Not on the record. You're sure? Check again. Uh, tenant. Name? Grabinski. <laughs> Leon Grabinski. Tenant. Mm -hmm. oh. A 
apartment this, seven. This guy may as well be a robot. Ground floor. Through the courtyard. Turn right, turn left. Straight ahead, turn right. Yeah, I got it. Back with him forwards. Thanks. Mm, door open. Open door. Hey, KY. I can kind of see where you're coming from with that, KY. Tattoo gun. Laser precision, stellar performance, out of this world quality, down to earth price. I mean, again, I would chalk that up to Rucker Hauer's age more than anything. Save the art. Holographic display offers virtual reality great immersion. The mighty processor will handle even the most complex calculations. Kinetic interface allows for maximum comfort and efficiency. Yeah, I'm assuming there's like some kind of augmented vision going on here. Pollux, overworked? Don't lose your head. The new Pollux personal computer is both powerful and user-friendly. Catch your breath, spend some time with your family, let your electronic counterpart share the load. And yes, this game takes place in Poland. Join us now. Hard work and patience is all it takes to achieve a civic status pr uh, upgrade. <laughs> Down to the wind chimes. Curfew is now in effect in all Class C districts. Remain in your apartments and enjoy your chosen holiday. Is that a fake spinner? Thank you for your cooperation. Chosen holographic content, you say? Oh, I don't. I can't play this game without making direct comparisons to Blade Runner. Bird, please. So yeah, you're gonna be hearing a lot of HOLY SHIT IT'S BLADE RUNNER! Oh, a spinner, not- not a fidget spinner, a spinner is the- In Blade Runner, the name of the car that Harrison Ford drives, or flies, if you will, is called a spinner. Oh god, I just realized that- I just realized what that name means now. It's been overridden. I trust this tattoo shop. But yeah, just taking in the atmosphere and the environment. See, now this is why I hope Blade Runner 2049 is good. It would be cool if they made a game like this. In the universe. Like a detective game. I mean, this is a horror game, believe it or not. Kind of. Horror slash mind fuck, I think. But, um, yeah. Look at all the code. It's like, how the fuck do you live in this world? Could you imagine? This is your future. Everything around you is just covered in code. Also, this game takes place... 2084. Which... You think it's a coincidence? It's a hundred years after 1984? Um, let the invigorating force flow through you. A unique blend of sugar and stimulants will keep your mind and body going. What are these things called again? They're called like greebles. When you just like put a bunch of shit on a wall to make it look um detailed. Azteking. But I think in the movie industry they call them greebles. 
Yeah, there's greebling all over the fucking place. Aztec and greebling. Wait a minute, what the hell is going on here? It's like in Spelunky. The walls are shitting. <laughs> um. Alright. Nah, mate, let me in. Fun game to just look at things. Well, so is Layers of Fear, though. Layers of... <laughs> Layers of Fear looked pretty, um... Pretty good, visually. Oh shit, the Michael Jackson Thriller outfit? Here? Note the VR enhancement stopped. This is a game I'd like to take my time with, just to... ...really enjoy all the detail that was put into the world. Adam? Nazarski, ID 65621-0. Can anyone hear me? Great. Fucking great. Okay, that was a little bit disjointed. Maybe it's not him. Doesn't have to be. Operational efficiency restored. This is Lazarski 65621-0. Setting up a crime scene. Electromagnetic vision. I need to check the victim's compass for connections. Compass? Six million volts wasn't enough. HN. Gotta start oh. somewhere. Victim is equipped with an ID mixer. Identification not possible. Damn it. Biovision. Erratic cutting pattern. Indicating the killer was in a frenzy. The head was removed. Postmortem. It's possible the killer took it. Motive. Unclear. Sometimes you gotta take a head, you gotta take a head, you know? Oh, you know, just blood. Not, nothing weird about that, just blood. Lacerated wound. ID check. Failed. Time of death, about an hour ago, before he called me. Other well, fun objects are around. I see, I see a fun object here. What's, what's this object? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, open that shit. Printed on real paper. Oh, a little archaic for you, Adam. Coincidence? Copy of 1984 by George Orwell. <laughs> right here, after I make the Orwell comment. So that new stick, that new sky lake. Good to know that in the future, 
you know, wires and cables and fucking metal and shit are still going to be littering the rooms. Oh, okay, you can analyze while you pick it up. So EM vision, that's not really helping, but I guess I could analyze it if that was analyzable. What else? Something's in here. Chiron it's Incorporated. High level clearance. Looks genuine, but it's expired. Low though, dude. 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 We still don't know if it's exactly Sun's body, though. You know, this this could be, um, you know, it could be someone else. What if we find like a like a protein stain on on the wall, and it identifies as like, you know, Jimmy Dupont from down the block. And uh, so this is your apartment. Doesn't mean. My kitchen is marginally filthier at the moment, and I do clean from time to time. I have a well, no, no, I, this is worse. This is way worse. I was judging based on dishes in the sink. I just have more dishes in my sink and pots and pans and stuff. Yeah, this is what it looks like, guys. And you can see here, these are my protein stains. This is my bag that I keep in the oven. You know. I keep... was that, underwear? <laughs> Fine, for argument's sake, let's say it's underwear. Get some... Old beans. The fruity juice is somewhere in here, too. Whoa. You never cared about this stuff. It's a trophy. It's a trophy with a microchip in it. You're a teacher? The hidden data storage. The encryption is too complex for my hacking tool. I'm taking it with me. I might be able to decode it later. Yo, what's up, boobs? Some uh, sardines. It's got some. I don't know what the fuck this is. Poison. Dude's got poison in his fridge. Got some cold ones. Oh, they're not gonna be cold for too long here. Let me uh, do that just in case someone decides to have a cold one. code. Hmm. Wouldn't conveniently happen to be a code lying around somewhere in the apartment, right? Maybe, um, maybe it's in the fridge? 
Maybe if I count the number of cans from left to right? Or maybe... It's... There we go. <laughs> Come on! Whoa. Is this the internet? Does he connect to the internet from this station? Okay, let's... Let's jump on the old keyboard. Downtown Inferno. Tragic accident or insurgent attack. Emergency services are still on the scene after an immense explosion tore a hole in what was once a serene business area of downtown Krakow. How do you pr uh, Krakow? Krakow? Kraka? How do you pronounce that? It's, um... Krakow. Krakow. The blast is now thought to have originated at the Chiron Incorporated Research and Development Center. Although a joint search effort has been launched by the KDP, KPD, and corporate personnel, the rescue teams scouring the site are yet to find any survivals among the rubble. Survivors. The exact number of casualties is yet to be calculated, but according to our sources, no high-ranking Chiron official was injured in the tragic event. As to what caused the explosion, early reports suggested a reactor malfunction, but a corporate executive who wishes to remain anonymous had his own ideas on the subject. We are not excluding anything at this point, but this has terrorists written all over it. It is precisely the sort of cruel and cowardly tactics that the anti-Republican insurgents excel at. We'll have an official statement on the matter shortly. If the insurgents were indeed behind this vicious attack, their goals remain a mystery. The center conducted civilian research, focusing primarily on developing new and improved neural links and other consumer products. It seems that whatever third party w was involved, their sole purpose was to wreak havoc, wreak havoc and destruction, striking fear into the hearts of the public at large. When asked to comment, Police Inspector Robert Picula gave a prompt and a stern reply. Chiron executives have provided their full support in dealing with the situation. He then retreated to his squad car, clearly distraught by the events of the day. We'll bring you more on this story as it develops. Chad, I hope you guys can be uh, mature for uh, the stream. Or at least maybe handle it in such a way that, you know, we can all enjoy the game. That would be cool. Um, Mail. Listen. I know you're a busy man and all, but we gotta talk now. I think they're onto me, for real this time. I'm almost certain someone followed me home yesterday. Today I saw this weird guy outside my window, just standing there. If you can't guarantee my safety, then I'm out. I got enough problems as it is. As far as out little mule goes, don't worry, I can manage her. It's a, you know, typo, like anyone does. You say that, but you made a boobs joke earlier, dude. No, I'm not talking about... Listen, you want to talk about boobs, that's fine. If you can just, you know, handle this... If there's gonna be, you know, like, some level of politics in this game, I'm just asking that you handle it like... like an adult. That's all. I can manage her. She's not like us. She knows she's in over her head and is clearly terrified. You can't expect too much from a simple mind. For now, just focus on your work and leave the human relations aspect of our project to me. For the time being, calm down and maintain focus. Eyes on the prize. Jay. P.S. I'm glad you liked the piece. I think it captures the essence of what they're trying to accomplish. Corrupted data. Looks like I got to it first. I've deactivated the apartment security system. Leaving the crime scene. Am I really leaving the crime scene, though? Yeah, I guess so. He was my son! What the fuck 
is this object? Just um, an ancient motherboard from like 2015. We haven't advanced a whole lot in this future. Like we're just using stuff that looks the same. You know, again, tons of wires. This just doesn't feel right. You're still alive. Go out this way. Hey, you there. Come here, quick. What? What is it? What? What's up with the lockdown? Is it the phage? Was there an outbreak? Well, you can't rule that out. For now, you better stay in your apartment. Well, what the hell else am I gonna do? Wait, why am I talking to you? You might be infected! Get away from me! Yep, I'm infected. Or his desert just said negative, I am a meat popsicle. Okay, now I can find... I can I finally look for some protein stains. Oh god. Ah, fuck. I've put my goggles on. I've used the black light. This hotel is just filthy. It's disgusting. Oh dear. Dear, you're charging for this? Did I just take that? I know of a picture of a- of a man. I don't know who this man is. Oh god, it's like a mosaic of protein... ...stain. It's like, you know, literally, Gordon Ramsay... ...with the goggles. I'm going to be thinking about that. Fair enough. Fair enough, me calling you guys out for being immature. I mean, I'll LPD, take it. I need to talk to you. You broke it! No, you broke it! Nuh-uh! Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here! Yeah, what's this about? Joey Diaz? Is everything all right in there? What? Oh, yeah. You know how kids are these days. Do I? Yeah. You gotta be strict with them, or they'll just walk all over you. Usually, I just sit them down in front of the projectors, keeps them nice and quiet. But the thing just went and died on cheap American crap. Kind of sounds a little bit like Taffy Lewis from Blade Runner. Do you know the tenant in apartment seven? Dad, Tommy's picking on me! Shut up, snitch. I thought I told you to shut up! <laughs> seven, huh? This voice! Nah, can't say that I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. Yeah, well, seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Could you give me a vague description? Maybe. What's it to you? Police business. Just answer the question, and I'll get out of your face. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? Why don't you knock on that door and see for yourself? 
Can you describe him or not? I don't have time for games. All right, all right. Younger fellow, probably in his 20s. Wow. Anything else? Nah, I never really got a good look at him. Medium height, medium built. He was just kind of there, you know? Have you seen anything suspicious around the building? Any strangers skulking around? Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch of losers. A lot of... You're so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. <laughs> Nuh-uh, you're way dumber. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Not a Teach those kids good. Like you. you bet your ass. Good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep, I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. I mean, this is, what is this, class fucking F? Nanophage and I. Oh yeah, that guy kind of did sound a little like Shitty Bender. Was this got an object in here? No, it's just a shitty old computer with programming on it. Guy's doing fucking Java. Tried to contact the victim, right? It sounds like someone's taking a shower in there. That was HTML. Oh, well. Sorry, I don't know my, uh, my code. I, I was never a programmer, really. I don't know it by visual. No, it's not? Okay, never mind then. You double jape. It's visual, <laughs> visual basic. Okay. <laughs> I actually did use VB3 for a little while. That's the only experience I have. 20 people go with C++. One guy says HTML, Vinny goes with HTML. That's I bad luck. Sometimes I look over the chat for one second. My eye immediately catches one message. And that's the one I saw. Please have a little bit of empathy for your shitty old friendly streamer. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Suspicious robots. Kind toys. Attention parent. Your child can't touch a hologram. The latest series of educational kinetic toys will help improve their imagination and central nervous system. Connect the chat to your neural stems. Okay. Well, if this was uh, 2084, I could do exactly that. Come to the door, please. Just want to talk. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? I'm with the KPD, if that's what you're asking. 
Seriously? We haven't had a cop around these parts in... ever, I guess. Well, you got one now. Yeah, good luck. You're gonna fucking need it. In 2084, the stream will be entirely automated. I'll be able to upload my consciousness. I just do a couple streams and then an AI examines my speech patterns and my streaming patterns. The difference is that that streamer will never make any mistakes, will never say anything dumb, will always play the games perfectly, and will never make anyone in the chat roll their eyes. It's going to be one of those amazing things that you get bored of in five minutes. But I'll be on a beach somewhere, sucking from a coconut titty, while my AI streams. Make your goddamn bed. What the fuck is this view? Oh. Voices from below don't believe their lies. The plague is still out there. This is a lot of reading. Um, let me see if I could sum it up. Minister of Health about uh, corporate wisdom. Uh, given in search of fear mongering, there is absolutely no concern. Nanophage is no longer a threat. We have contained the glitch, thus freed ourselves from the disease. Loyal citizens who support responsible augmentation have nothing to be afraid of. Three words: bull fucking shit. Unless you're a lucky class of a fucks, and one of the lucky class a fucks with a shiny set of mods, the nanophage is still very real. We've had at least three confirmed cases of the past year, one of which led to a small-scale outbreak, but we managed to contain it. Um, you might think three cases is nothing to be excited about. You've never been in an outbreak. Uh, what the hell are we supposed to do? It's better to prevent than cure. Given the phage recovery rate, these words should be considered gospel. Once the plague hits, it's usually too late. So, look for these symptoms. Fever. Bumps. Starts off slow and becomes, like, more noticeable than the flu. Um, implant irregularities. Assuming that, like most of us, you can't afford to run regular mod maintenance, you've probably gotten used to the odd jolt of um, your neural implant, slight spasm in your artificial arm. However, if these start to occur at increased rate, you need to check yourself. Erratic behavior. Every once in a while, try to look away from the projector and take a gander at your neighbors. If any of them are acting weirder than usual, babbling to themselves, walking crooked, there might be something afoot. Juncture inflammation. Skin at the base of your implant turns red and starts to itch. The bad news is you might be infected. The good news is it's not a death sentence. Our clinics have performed numerous extra extraction surgeries, and unlike the corporate cleaners, most of our patients tend to leave the operating room alive. As long as there's no nanite punctures, it's still not too late. If there are, you're most likely too busy hallucinating and puking blood to notice. If you spot any of these symptoms yourself, or anyone in your neighborhood, contact one of the clinics. If you don't know where to find us, ask around. We've got eyes and ears all over C District, so chances are we'll find you. Here's what you don't want to do. Don't panic. Chances are it's not the phage. False reports. Uh, pigeon flu. Don't be an idiot. Last couple of months, we've had dozens of incidents of violence aimed at suspected carriers. Guess what? That doesn't solve anything. Once the disease takes root, we're all in this together. Do not report it. I can't stress this enough. The cleaners are not your friends. They are co not coming to help you. Best case scenario, they'll lock down the entire building and go through it with a fine tooth comb, using the outbreak as an excuse to confiscate subversive materials and detain any undesirables. Worst case scenario, the ones they don't slaughter outright will end up as guinea pigs for Chiron research and development. If it comes to that, do yourself a favor and pack it in. Jump out a window, blow your brains out, doesn't matter how, just make it last. You won't thank me later. But you'll regret it otherwise. The following message could not be delivered to one or more recipients. <laughs> Content blocked by Chironet Firewall. 
Dear Annie, by the time you read this, I will no longer be among the living. The details are not important. Just know that I went out of my on my own terms. I won't ask for a proper burial. God knows you don't owe me anything, and by the time the cleaners are done with this place, I doubt there's going to be anything left of me to bury. Just know that for all of my faults, I have always loved you, just like I've loved your mother. What? Well, when the disease took her, a part of, my, of me died that day. Simple displays of affection became a foreign concept, a painful reminder of what I'd lost. It does not justify what I've put you through, but it is the truth. So happy that you've managed to get out of this hellhole and find some someone worthy of your love. I wish you both all the best. Love, Dad. Oh. Shit. Oh, fuck yeah! Fire and sword spiders! Man, games got so advanced in the future. I think I figured out how to play it. Oh yeah. It's like the game I played last night, Magic Circle. Those bloody spiders again. I wonder if there's some kind of achievement for for doing this. It's kind of necro dancerish. There's only two levels. It's shareware. <laughs> He's a big fan. With fire and swords. Spiders. For as advanced as advanced as this future is, it's uh kinda shitty at the same time. And I, I don't mean it's still like derelict. Cool um cool lights you got there. Looking for some protein stains, no protein. Now here we go, now there's some protein. Let's see. Remove your implants. Fuck. Oh shit. Well, I can't open the door, but... Dude's beb. He bebbed. Fuck. I guess there's only so much fire and sword spiders you can play. I bet the janitor has way better video games. There's no way there's a cassette on the table. Come on. You know, I found this game because I was looking up info about the new Blade Runner movie. I didn't actually get a request to play this. This is one of those rare cases where I found the game on my own um, because I was looking up Blade Runner stuff and I had there were numerous people on the internet that were talking about Observer and articles that were linking to this. And I was like, okay. Let me check this out.
the glitchy effects mean you need to take your drugs? Okay. Yes. Synchrosine injected. Strain level decreased. Oh yeah. Yeah, that fixed some of the glitchiness. World War II era. Not world, no. What, what, does anyone know what plane that is? Oh my god. Nineteen seventy to present era. Oh, okay. It's a C-130. Dear Mr. Joukowsky, while we all greatly appreciate your exemplary service and the sacrifices you have made for your country. The URI policy enforces a strictly proactive stance on helping our brave veterans reintegrate with society. Regular coverage requires a deed of permanent B-class employment presented to our res representative on an annual basis. Your current janitorial position simply does not qualify. Given these circumstances, we must sadly deny your claim and are therefore forced to terminate your participation in the program effective immediately as of today the veteran pension fund will no longer cover periodic maintenance of your cybernetic prosthetic we wish you all the best the veteran rehabilitation initiative all right this has gone on long enough veteran or not i don't give a crap anymore one more message and i'll find you and beat the fucking junk out of you my mother can no longer take this shit. She's sick of telling you over and over that her husband, my father, died 18 years ago. She's moved on, we all have. No one wants to live in the past, to constantly relive a tragedy. So for the last time, Mike Jarowski is dead. He's been dead for a long time. If someone typed that into you, that busted ass head of yours. I don't care how you do it, just fucking remember this time. Even if it's a toss up between this and remembering when to take a dump. Because the next message you send her will earn you a broken fucking jaw. Consider this your final warning. I'm gonna pass on this one. Just for the sake of brevity. Ground floor. Yeah, it's Poland though, right? Of course. Two agents. Helena Novak, apartment 104, and Hannah Nader, apartment 106. Both on the same floor. Yeah! Oh, fuck yeah, uh, level three! You got the fucking fire sword! Mistakes were made. No, not really. No. I got this. What's the name on- I can't really... Alright. Nice microphone. This guy's got a good streaming setup. You think the janitor's a streamer? You again. Not a good 
I hear to sneak up on me, you know. Need to get out. Police business. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what you are. Oh, yeah? Back during war to Kuan alive. Sent for one of you to get into his head. You fought in the big one. Is that why you got all this junk in you? Plasma sweep. Hit our convoy. <sighs> Borrowed through armor. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring back memories. Yes. Memories. What can you tell me about the tenant in apartment 7? Tenant. Yeah, tenant. How long has he been living there? Yeah. Maybe longer. Not good with time. You ever talked to him? Didn't get out much. None of them do. All right, Tin Man. Let me know if it comes back to you. Something triggered the lockdown. Trying to get it open. Rudy and I. You think it might be the nanophage? You had any recent outbreaks? No. Last one. Long time ago. Down by the river. All the implants. Bad the implants. This poor fucking guy. I take it, Rudy is the robot. Multifunction service and maintenance. Drone, don't lose it. Drone. Mm, wonders of sometimes. Uh, need to track manually. Can we so, someone just said cyber tingle. Or get a message out. Horse no. whispering the game. <laughs> Keep people in. Isolate, accommodate, alleviate. Yeah, we all know how that last one used to work. All right, I'm heading out. Can you give me full access to the building? Uh, uh -huh. uh, assistance. Unstable. Unlocked. What I could. Thanks. You better stay here. There might His be some hand very is... nasty people out there. Nasty. Uh, huh. Bad. <laughs> Look, He's malfunctional. Stay safe. I, I think. You know um, what? I never got your name. I'm Dan. Huh? Name. Janus. The mechanical brain Megan. needs a tune-up. Roman. God, <laughs> you know. Sorry I gave you a hard time earlier. Good to meet you, Janus. J Janus? No, Rutger Hauer. Oh shit. Double spine. This is, well, yeah, some of his brain is uh is mechanical. That's why it takes him a long time to speak. Synchrozine collected. Janice was the god of choices. He had two faces. Cerebral prothe prosthesis. We've come as far as cerebral prosthesis, but our video games suck. And we're still using, like, 1980s style computers.
See, what, what does this, like, serve? What function is this eyeball? Yeah, I'm, I'm messing around. Obviously, I'm buying this, because I, I... When I say buying it, obviously I'm accepting it, because I'm loving this game right now. I'm just... Listen, I'm just making conversation. Uh, you know... These are thoughts I would mostly keep to myself, but I'm streaming, so I have to... I have to say dumb things every now and then, like, how is there a prosthetic brain, a floating brain, if you will, while there's still shitty 8-bit video games? You know, it's it's the most inane statement one could possibly make, but, you know. That's what I'm here for. What deep, dark fantasies you think I'll find here in the basement, even though I'm not supposed to be down here right now? Party happening down here? That's true, yeah. If you're in the slums, if the place is rock bottom, as you say, then, uh, or as Rucker Hauer says, then yeah. Kind of makes sense that a lot of this technology would be overly shitty. Oh, hey, look. I looped back around. Yeah, if their tech just straight up sucks, I'm sure there's better tech. Is that? That's not. No, that's not. Curfew applies to everyone. Do you need assistance? Well, never mind, I can't help you. Zarsky, KPD. Routine questioning. Daddy, who is it? Can he make the door open? When can we go out, Daddy? Shh. Go to your room, kids. Go play Runaway Galaxy. Let me talk to the man. Hello, officer. I'm Thaddeus Karski, head of the family. How can I help you? Listen, have you seen anything questionable going on around here? Apart from the usual, you mean? The usual? Well, you know, this place isn't exactly a beacon of morality. Still, we mustn't judge. Most people mean well, they're just misguided. Seems, um, seems legit. Everything all right in there? Did the lockdown spook the kids? Oh, no, we're fine. I do appreciate your concern. Maybe it's a cover. You sound very calm. You're not worried about a potential outbreak? Oh, that doesn't concern us, officer. Of course, I hope that's not the case, for the sake of the other tenants. What do you mean, it doesn't concern you? We're all clean of corruption. My wife, myself, and the little ones. Oh, boy. Clean. Oh. You're Immaculates. Children of the Immaculate Birth, yes. You've heard of us. All good things, I hope. So wait, just... praying eliminates Cyber Aids? Depends on who you're talking to. The consensus seems to be crazy, but harmless. I see. And what is your own impression so far? Well, you're probably the least crazy person. 
I well, they just have no anything. tech. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear that. I think. That's good. Maybe more people should be immaculate then. And you don't get the fucking, well, the phage. Say, no mods of any kind. That's quite a statement these days. Is it really? Is having a neural connection to the web worth renouncing your humanity? Is a body held together with screws and wires really worth a corrupted soul? Some would say there are benefits. Certainly. I know our lives will be shorter and less comfortable. But it's a price we're willing to pay for experiencing the purity of our God-given bodies. Don't get me wrong. In the slums. I'm not a big fan of implants, but I couldn't do what I do without them. Yes, you carry them within you. It wasn't really a choice, you know? Oh, but clearly it was. The world would be a better place if more people realized that. You're not going to get preachy on me, are you now? I apologize, officer. That certainly wasn't my intent. How do you make a living, anyway? Not many jobs left that don't require some basic augmentation. We're a close-knit community, officer. We help each other out. As one should. All right, if you say so, Mr. Karski. Godspeed, Officer Lazarski. I feel like, uh, Rutger Hauer's voice acting... ...is better now. I feel like maybe he got, like, a little more comfortable, got into the role a little little bit better, he's, he's kind of, um, enunciating a little better. Sounds like I didn't even think, I was like, wow, that's, that's actually really natural. Feels real good. Take that, whatever that is. Took a lozenge, sure. A lazarnsh zarnsh zarnshki. <laughs> What's with these names? Well, this is Poland. We're in uh, Poland, a hundred years into the future. Well, almost seventy. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Uh, I'm starting to need my meds a little bit. The glitching is starting to happen. What the fuck? Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Thanks for the help, buddy. Flush this first, and then get whatever's in there. There's a radio in a shitty toilet. Hello and welcome to Toilet Radio. Today we're gonna be playing some shit for you. All day, every day. Eh? Hey, service drone, can you, um, can you go clean the shitty toilet? Someone had White Castle. Or, conversely, someone literally pooped a radio. It's 
Less shitty toilets. I mean, I, I... Maybe there's something I can do with plumbing, but maybe I, I can't do it just yet. I'm kind of losing track of time while playing this game. You know, 20 years ago, this would have been a point and click. Some really fucking weird noises. Oh, I guess I have to go this way. KPD. Need to ask you some questions. Oh, and who's your friend? Friend? It's just me, ma'am. Oh, I have to go now. Alrighty. Miss Nader, I'm with the KPD. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Mrs. Excuse me? Mrs. Nader. All right. Uh, Mrs. Nader. What do you want? Ma'am, is everything all right in there? Are you in some kind of danger? You tell me, officer. I heard the alarms go off. Are the cleaners on their way? Are any of us safe? The lockdown seems to be a malfunction. I don't think we're looking at an outbreak here. Well, I'm sure the other tenants will be glad to hear that. But not you? No, officer. Not me. Have you made any calls in the last hour? No, I have not. Could you Turns out she's just a floating eyeball. Somebody may have used it as a proxy. I don't have a compass. No compass. I thought pretty much everyone had one at this point. Well, you thought wrong. I don't have any implants of any kind. If you don't mind my asking, do you live alone? Are you also yes, with the Church I of Hymentology? Yes, I live alone. No spouse or daughter. Didn't you hear me? I said it was just me. Then why did you insist on being called Mrs.? I'm a widow. My wife died many years ago. In the plague. Sorry to hear that. Is that why you don't have any implants? Yes. Want to see the scar tissue on my face and neck? It's quite an embroidery. The little monsters really outdid themselves. Or do I have to show you what's left of my arm? Would that satisfy your curiosity? Mrs. Nader, I'm just doing my job. Huh, yes, I've heard that one before. When the cleaners took my Laura away, one of them turned to me and said precisely that. I never saw her again. Not even the body. It's like she never existed. I'm not like that. No? Oh, so you don't work for the corporation? The very same people who took everything I ever had? Just because they pay me, doesn't mean they owe me. Well, isn't that a pretty thought? You best get on with your duties, officer. I'm sure you have your hands full. So long, Mrs. Nader. Helena, no back pages. Okay. Um, well. Also, when the chat gets shitty, I know how to fix it. I'm going to sacrifice the use of the duck button and I'm going to delegate it 
to specific times. And when the chat gets, like, really weird, or when it turns into a war zone, I'm gonna use the button. And you guys are gonna fix yourselves. You're gonna sort yourselves out, bucko. KPD? Anyone in there? Can you repeat that? What do you want? I'm a police... Police man? You noticed anything suspicious recently? Anything out of the ordinary? What? I don't... I didn't quite catch that. Good connection, mate. Fine. You've been very helpful. Good night. <laughs> very helpful indeed. Good connection. This dude's on a 56k door. This awful noise. What's going on? There's been a lockdown. A lockdown? No. Oh, God, please, not today. Well, what's so special about today? I was scheduled to undergo a, a medical procedure. It's a private matter. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not talk about it. Suit yourself. Sir, I'm wondering if you've seen anything suspicious lately. I haven't seen anything in over 40 years. Ah, that's your condition. I... The I, eyes I shut. really don't feel comfortable talking about it. Fine, I won't waste your time then. Hey, wait, I did hear something. Quiet footsteps, deliberate, heavy breathing, angry. Not hiding. Hunting. Hmm. Anything else? The smell. It seemed uh, oddly familiar. Reminded me of my childhood. Your childhood? Yes. My family lived outside the city with all manner of creatures. When it would rain, the smell would be similar. Hmm. Let's see, is it time for meds? I'm still like, I'm not in the bone zone yet. So I want to hold off because, I, you know, in, medicine is not infinite. KPD, I'd like to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? Why are we under lockdown? Most likely a malfunction. I'm still looking into it. Well, you ain't looking in the right places. Because I don't know nothing. Noticed anything suspicious or unusual? Other than the lockdown, I mean. Well, the couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise a while back. More than usual, I mean. The girl ran off, and then it got quiet. Did you see where she ran off to? I ain't one to snoop. But... Judging by the footsteps, I'd say she ran down to the courtyard. Anything else you can tell me about them? What? The couple? Don't know them that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy, though. Does this kind of stuff happen often? You ever see the husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just messed up. Then again, ain't we all? 
What are you saying about yourself, good sir? What about the girl? Oh, she, she's a trooper. Works double shifts at Chiron to support that ex-con asshole of a husband. Any this is old pro. It's Nick Valentine again? Freedom. Is it really? Too important or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean by that? Worn out, fidgety, jumping at shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect. I guess. No, it doesn't sound that much like Nick Valentine. What can you tell me about the guy? Amir? I think he's called. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. Probably sells the shit, too. How do you know that? What, the dealer? I see him sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. I dealt he's the goddamn postman. Anything else out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd say that's pretty much it. Animals? Yeah, I could, uh... I could swear I heard something growling in the hallway earlier. I informed the janitor, but eh, he'd lose the plot midway through the talk anyway. Thanks. You've been very helpful. <laughs> That's new. Yeah, this dude does sound very familiar, this voice actor. But, um, yeah, it's, that's very suspicious. Some very suspicion things happening here. There's 104. It's open. Anyone here? Chiron Corporation ID. Low level clearance, but still valid. Take, can't take it. No, can't take it. Oh, shit. I guess this would be the time to say the plot thickens. Scoot? Don't be afraid. I'm here to help. What happened here? Uh. Listen to me. The building's on lockdown. There's no way I can help you now. But I can get whoever's responsible for this if you help me find him. Don't try to talk. There's another way. The fuck did I just do? Amir Novak. Subject approved. Commencing neural interrogation. Jesus. So wait, I'm reliving hey, memories. Baby. I'm home. Oh my god. Mario has logged in. Is that you? The fuck? That just disoriented me so fucking hard. Good corruptions. Is 
stop this. This dude's memories are fucked. This is part of living in the slums, I guess. Having 56k doors. Nothing in the fridge, not even a single cold one. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this is the good stuff. It's all just a dream! Room 987. Room 209. Room 752. <laughs> yeah, we're not in Kansas anymore. Yeah, uh... Thanks. Good. Some nice, useful, um, information from room triple zero. In this mode, you don't have any access to your, um, to your tools. Usłyszenia rośliny następuje częściowa recenizacja kiosku i aminy. Suszony surowiec zarywa zmienne ilości antropiny. Halucynogenne i trujące działanie surowca, obecność alkaloidów troponowych, mechanizm ich działania polega na blokowaniu... No wonder everyone's fucked up. This is the TV show they have to watch 24-7. A whole one channels of TV. Thanks, kid. More super cool TV programs. What do you guys think? Should I go down the dark, creepy corridor? Yeah, right? What the fuck, man? I told you not to show up during the day. No, no, this guy's not selling illicit substances. It's all legal. So it's, it's 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 fine. So where do you get where do you get these tables? The morphing crystal tables. I'd love one of those for my house. What's future IKEA called? Future slum IKEA.
Which house in Game of Thrones is this? Psychia. <laughs> Psychia. You're not in Homeboy sold some drugs. Homeboy went to jail. We go back to doing that. That was cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Sure is a lot of the same room over and over again. I get it, you want me to watch the shitty TV program? It's not getting any better. Can um can I have can I have my soup? I didn't get a chance to eat it. Please, I'm not steak.
place where the corruptions are just getting worse and worse. Is that Joe Rogan? Joe Rogan, I got something I have to tell you. He wants to stay in his cell. I can get the radio now. It's, it's gonna be all right. Thanks. I won't let it be out of here. them drugs. Compounds being made illegal and new ones being discovered. This is pretty much all of my club experiences that I've ever had. I've always wondered, are you scared? Of me, I mean. Now I can see right through you. I saw that underneath all your muscles and tattoos, you were like a big, wounded animal. Lost. Alone. Hey, at least you know what you were getting into. Yeah, I, I guess, guess I, I did. did.
in sickness and in health, forsaking all others? To have and to hold from this day forward until death do us part. Any regrets? None. Jeez. I've been in this guy's memories for a while now. The Oculus. Whoa. It's like Cerebro and X-Men. I told, I told you, man, those future drugs. Rucker Hauer. His character must have balls of fucking titanium if he has to do this from time to time. You're strong enough to beat this Living thing. fucked up fragmented memories. You have to try. Do it for me. Yes. Maybe this dude got the phage. Or he just doesn't want to take a shower. I like my natural smell. I like to smell like meat. Meat! Stinky meat! I don't want to be clean! the phage now like he infected her this is this is my interpretation of fucked up fragments Subject expired during questioning. Emergency extraction procedure successful. Jesus. Well, if he had the... If he had the phage... Then... I would imagine Rucker Hauer now has it. Subject expired, huh? The voice box implant. Not uncommon among longtime feed addicts. The only thing that was keeping him alive. Nice tats, mate. Lousy ink. Probably got him in prison.
Okay, I could be completely wrong. Keep in mind, this is just me, like, spitballing, just trying to figure out what's going on here. Maybe this was a very intentional bloodletting. To try to purify his blood? You know, to get rid of the phage? Or whatever? So how do I um desynchronization imminent administer medication Right yes Synchronization <clears throat> injected strain level decreased Okay I was looking at the the wrong thing Uh how do I um they literally showed him Yeah they no no they showed him being attacked I guess Oh never mind then it Was a little yeah, if they showed him being attacked, then absolutely I was wrong. Um... Alright. I think the game auto-saves? No, I don't think that's Salami Desert. I, I think that's just... That's not Salami, buddy. That's... What are you talking about, Salami? Oh, that, that could be Salami, no. No, that's not Salami. Some strange looking here. Not human. Not animal. Okay. Well, this is a very fun game. Well, not fun, really. <laughs> but it's a good game, and the storytelling is really good. Ten seconds since last save. Beautiful. That... Holy fuck is Observer. And it it is very good. Really, really interesting storytelling. And um I'm loving the style. I'm loving the atmosphere. I'm loving how weird it is. You can tell it's made by the same dudes that made Layers of Fear, so I mean it's pretty it's pretty clear. But I, I still I'm love I'm really enjoying it. And um I like trying to piece together the things that happened. I might be able to better piece together things when it's not, say, 3.30 a.m. almost. But regardless, um, excellent, excellent um, story stuff and presentation, and I'm, I'm liking it a lot. So look forward to more of that. It's not a terribly long game, from what I understand. But there is art 